So, I've been working on something I think is fairly cool. I was trying to get like inspection sheets and prints to be viewable from the machine. And so I was trying to think of like what ways I could get access to the internet in order to do that. And what I came up with was instead of tracking ethernet from this machine all the way up to the nearest AP, which is 140 feet away, and bringing a lift in here to put it on the ceiling, well, that would cost way more than doing what I'm going to do. And this is a little Asus Wi-Fi USB adapter. These cost about 30 bucks. And it will work because the Okuma control runs on Windows. I've tried this on a few different controls. Uh, two of them were Windows 10. One of them was Windows 7. The one that I did on the Windows 7, it's a little harder to navigate. It's possible, but it's harder to navigate. But the driver that Asus has can go all the way down to Vista. I haven't tried that. I think the Windows 10 ones are much easier to navigate. So to put this little guy and install it on the machine, I'm going to open up this slot and I'm going to plop it in the top one. And then I have a USB here that has the driver on it. Um, I got the driver off of the Asus website for this USB. I will say there are a few different companies that make these USB Wi-Fi adapters. I tried one from TP-Link and it did not work. There was something about how when the Okuma went into sleep mode and then woke back up, the driver did not wake back up and the Windows OS did not like that at all. So I removed that one. I got this Asus one, I installed it and it worked perfect. And this is probably my fourth one that I'm gonna do. To get to the Windows control, all I gotta do is hit control and cancel at the same time. That acts as the Windows key. So I'm gonna go Control Cancel, and this little sidebar pops up like the search bar on Windows. And I'm just gonna type in File. So now the File Explorer can go up. And then here I have my drive, which is E, and then I have the folder with the driver inside. Now, like I said, this driver and all the information on how to install this is on Asus' website and it should work for all Windows machines. But I would recommend checking that you're getting the right driver for the OS on your control because they're all, they're, they're all slightly different. And so just make sure that's correct. On top of making sure that the Asus driver is compatible with the machine, Okuma also has a piece of software that you can use to make sure that it is going to work okay on the system. From here, I'm just gonna hit the setup where the application is and run that. Okay, now I'm gonna say install. So I'm just gonna go through this like normal. And in a few seconds, it'll be done. Okay, so on this screen, I hit no. I have no idea how the restart sequence for them is going to affect the Okuma control. So I will restart it myself using the shutdown switch. So I'm gonna hit no and finish. Okay, now I can just exit out of this application. And from there, this USB is done, so I'm just gonna exit here and pull this out. Now this thing's ready to go. So next we can come down here and we can hit uh, that bottom button and then go to the one with the gear on it. And then you'll see a network options. And you can tell you've done everything right when this pops up. So now it says you have your two ethernet ports. Those are on the back side of the machine. And then now we have a new one that says the ASUS USB, and then we can connect, hit the connect to. That's gonna bring us into this. Side note, if you know how to do it this way with the Wi-Fi icon down here, this and this is the same thing. This is just a little bit faster, so I'm gonna do this. Okay, so now that I can tell I'm connected two different ways, if you hit this network key again, 
you'll see that it's full green. Or if you do the control cancel, you'll be able to see that you have full Wi-Fi right there. I guess I could also show you a little bit on how I'm going to use this. So I'm going to go to file again. And then I'm going to go to my network. And on my network, I have a server that I connect to. So now I'm inside of my network file and I have a couple other folders here for other machines. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new one by going to right click. Right click is you just press and hold and then that square or circle comes up and you can release it. Now I'm going to go folder and this machine is L6. So I'm going to go L6. And now this machine has its own folder. So I'm at my computer now. I'm going to go to my folder browser. And I put a print in my downloads page the other day. This is just an ejector pen for a Swiss machine. I'm going to copy that file. And I'm going to go to the network. Here's, there's the L6 folder. And then I'm going to paste that file in there. And so now we have that ejector pen print in the CNC link file. So now back to the machine, before I look in there, I'm going to do something that's going to make it a lot easier to get to this file. So this is why I said I like it on the Windows 10 version and not the Windows 7, because I haven't been able to figure out how to get this on the Windows 7. So if I right click on that file that is for this machine, then I can do a simple, it says pen to start, and I can X out. So what that did is now when I hit control cancel, I have a link to that folder right here. So I can click it and it's going to bring me into that file right away. Here it is. I can pull it open. It's going to open up the Okuma PDF viewer and there's my print. So I just realized that I couldn't open Internet Explorer. I think it's because I didn't restart the control yet. So I go ahead, I gave it a restart and now I'm just waiting for it to boot back up. So now we're booted back up and I'm going to go download the Edge browser so that I can have that updated version of the PDF editor. So I can click on browser just right there. And then I'm just gonna type in Edge. So here I am at that landing page and Microsoft has a big thing about it right up front. So I'm just gonna click on that and do an accept and download. I just had a guy recently ask me if I was able to do this for like a Sugami, which is a Swiss machine. And I wish, but I don't know if any other company, I mean, I know Fanook runs some type of windows way in the background, but they don't make it accessible like Okuma makes it. And that's the only reason I'm able to get this done with this USB adapter is because Okuma runs off of windows and they let you access it. So now I have it all downloaded in order to test that. I'm going to go back into my folder. We're going to do the right click and then we're going to say open with and then we're going to do Microsoft Edge. As you can see, this editor is a lot bigger. It also gives you ability to like if you set up a page in Adobe with entry forms, you can click and then you can type in and just hit the save card up here. And then anytime you want to go back, you can just hit the X key or you can click this thing up here. So I'm going to do X, X, back to home. So I hope this helps. Maybe if you wanted a connection on your controls, but you didn't want to run Ethernet, well, now you have this. You just go get you one of those USB drivers and you're good to go.